What's up you guys, it's me Ted the Toy Guy And I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can I mean, short, as simple as I can But this is just all the 90's Barbies I have And as you can see, I had got a quite I'm getting a big collection of them And, and it's been this way for about a couple of months Which is why I cut back until I ordered him on Saturday and she was the last 90s Barbie I ordered, and I got her in July, and I had a pretty big collection then. And it all started in January when I got Shiny from 1991. Then after I got Teen Talk Barbie, and I think in what month it was, I think, either March or April, I can't remember. Then I got, I, I'm not gonna, I can't remember when I got these, the order I got these exactly, but... I will tell you, I got also got Joy Hair Mermaid Barbie, Millennium Princess Barbie, Tropical Splash Barbie, Super Talk, Fashion Play from 1992. And this is probably my favorite Steffi scope, which is why I got her. I don't know if you can see this, but see her on makeup? And I actually like the early, late 80s, early 90s. Facial screening they did on this one. Trying to get my camera to see that. And I also like her hair too. And I, I, I will not open these because of them being so old. And I want to try to keep them in the box as long as I can. And some of these were wasn't exactly cheap because I remember she was twenty five bucks. She probably would have been more on eBay, and I got her on Amazon. By the way, some of these were cheaper on eBay and others were cheap on Amazon, like this one. I think this one was twelve ninety five, if I can remember. And I seen her on eBay for more. And this is Moonlight Magic, and she was a Toys R Us exclusive in 1993 or 1994. And this one is my favorite one out of all of them. And this is Spiegel Shopping Chic Barbie from 1995. And I like how they got her. I like her outfits the most. I like all of this doll, to be honest with you. And she was around 16 bucks. Uh, it might be a little over 16, but anyway. She was she was one of my Holy Grail dolls for a long time before I ordered her. And I just got lucky and found her on eBay one day. And this one... It's not supposed to be this one, because when I ordered this one, I thought I was getting one with her skin tone. But they sent me the African-American version instead, so I decided to keep her. One thing I hated about this one was how much she was. I actually paid $30, but didn't get the doll I was hoping I, that I, that was in the order description, so bummer. And this is another one, the Holy Grail, so I got, and I think I got her in June. This is Asha, and she's a Mattel, but she was made in 1995, I think. Then, the last one I got is Soul Train Jamal, and he's been on my Holy Grail list for a long time, so I found him a couple of, I want to say last week on eBay for 20 he was seven dollars bad now plus five dollars shipping, which makes him twelve bucks. I seen a lot of these shiny dolls on eBay are pretty kink are pretty pricey, especially the Jamals. They only Mattel only made three at that time, and I still go try to get the other two. But yeah, this is it. This is a little longer than I expected, but. You all get to see my 90s Barbie collection. And thanks for watching. And as always, you rate, comment, and or subscribe. And stay tuned for later videos.